Hi, my name is Larry Newman. These are Larry's Laws for Inspired Living. Today I want to talk to you about the law of vacuum. Law of vacuum means that whatever space is created, the universe is going to fill that space. It could be time, it could be a physical space, it could even be space in your head. But something is going to fill an empty space. So when it comes to your head, if you are not purposely deciding what you want to think about, what you want to affirm, what you're looking for, then whatever garbage that's in the world, whatever destructive notions or whatever negative stuff that's out there is going to fill your mind. In the same respect, if you're not planning out your day of things to do that you think are worthwhile and valuable, what's going to fill that in may be five hours of Netflix, maybe three hours of video games, maybe two hours of going out to eat or taking a walk or whatever else. But if you do not purposely fill in the time gaps in your day, day to day, with activities, you're going to find that you're going to have lower priority activities are going to fill all those gaps. Same way the law of vacuum also works. If you want new things to come into your life, we need to get rid of the old things. It could be old clothes, it could be old books, it could be old ideas. But with the whole idea behind the law of vacuum is nature hates empty spaces. Universe hates empty spaces. So empty spaces will be filled up with whatever is out there. It'll just happen on its own accord. Just like I always think about your mind being a garden. Your relationship is a garden. If you are not planting seeds for a wonderful crop of fruit and vegetables, whatever that you want to have grow, garbage is going to grow there. The seeds of negativity are going to grow there. What happens naturally with a garden, if you're not planting and pruning, that means getting rid of the garbage, planting the good things, nurturing and watering, weeds will grow. Weeds will grow naturally. And you know what weeds are. They're usually ugly and they're usually not going to serve any purpose because you're not going to eat them, you're not going to enjoy them, you're not going to want to look at them, and you're not going to want to smell them. So weeds are not going to serve a purpose in your garden. Your garden should have what you want in it, the things that you want in your garden. Same thing in your marriage. Plant things in your marriage that you want to see occur. Plant ideas, plant thoughts. Thanks for watching this video. Smash that subscribe button and have a fantastic day.